Okay, I'm attempting to replace the radius arm bushings in a Ford van. It should be as simple as unbolting that bracket and removing it and replacing the bushings. I don't know if it's a big, uh, it's a big nut. I don't know what it is in metric, but my inch and an eighth and a breaker bar broke it loose. Got all the new parts, but the problem is Ford saw fit to put the exhaust. So they put the exhaust right where the bolts have to come out. And I don't want to have to take down the entire exhaust to take out those bolts. Those nuts right there are welded. Won't be a problem on the other side, but this side, I just can't get to them without taking it all apart, and I don't want to do that. So what I've done is I took down the sway bar so that wouldn't get in my way. And I put a port of power between the axle beam and back here on the transmission cross member. This is a four ton port of power. And I started pushing the axle forward to get it out to where I could replace the bushings and then let it go back in. And all that does is it lets it pivot. Let's it uh, half an I beam pivot in the bushing. All right, now it's going to be under a lot of tension. So I'm not going to say it's safe. And also, as it was pulling out of the hole, I realized it was pushing against the outside right here. The outside of the hole had a lot of tension. So what I did was I put this uh, screw jack in here. You could probably use a hydraulic jack. But I'm using a screw jack for my Nissan. One good thing about a screw jack is it won't sink on you like a hydraulic wheel. It'll stay put. But don't get under it because it could fall out. You know, always work safe. Don't get under things, tie things off to where they can't fall on you, that kind of thing. And I'm not saying that this is the way to do it. This is just a way that I found to do it. Now, if I can sneak that new bushing in over that gap, great. I had to push on it pretty hard to get it open that far. So I'm looking forward to getting this done. But uh, I couldn't find an internet solution on Google on how to do this without taking it all apart. So... Here this is, I hope it helps somebody. And uh, again, be careful, work safe, get some help, and uh, have a good day. All right, it worked out. With the suspension at full droop, the I-beams ended up going, that I-beam ended up going against the cross member, metal to metal, and it took all I had in that port of power to get it pushed forward enough, forward enough to get enough gap to get these bushings in. Uh, word to the wise, if you take the shock loose at one end, you'll probably get a little more droop and that will help. But I barely got enough, enough out of this. And I was able to sneak the bushing in. I've let off it a little bit, but I did have more gap there. I let off it because I was a little scared. All right, and here I am, I'm gonna let off of this. I don't have the little jack pushing it over. Looks like it's going to line up with the hole. If it doesn't, I can take a bar and pry it over. But yeah, you can see it's going back in. Yeah. There it goes. It's back in. Now I just probably need to push it back into position. Get the other bushings and the nut on there. And uh, there's my solution. Now the other side, I'm just going to unbolt it. Take the bracket down and do it normally. Thanks for watching.